IBM is developing a healthcare and health systems repository for data and analytics that we call a hub. The purpose of this hub is twofold. To help create sustainable healthcare and health systems in Africa and to build research capacity in partnership with the new IBM research lab in Kenya that is driven by Africans for Africans in Africa. Today most health research in Africa is not driven by Africa and consequently, as these data show, research efforts are not proportionate to disease burden. So why is research important? Well, health research and innovation not only generate knowledge to help us improve practices, public health policies and emergency responses, but act as a catalyst for building the right kind of healthcare industry in places and at prices appropriate for Africa. This brings us to the Cognitive Healthcare Hub. It is a framework which allows data to be collected from distributed resources and stored securely so that the system can conduct advanced analytics using new technologies that not just compute numbers but which make interpretations and inferences and learn as real results are compared to these interpretations. This form of computing is called cognitive computing because it performs some of the higher order functions of the brain. Memory, abstraction, inference and learning. Visualisation of data and analytic outcomes are tailored for a variety of potential users such as community health workers, hospitals and government agencies. For example, imagine if government decision makers wanted to better understand at-risk groups and target interventions appropriately. What if they could have ways of knowing where vaccination efforts should be concentrated or when changes in the weather or human activities would change mosquito populations and transmission of disease? Or how much of a budget should go to drugs, rehydration kits or to other interventions? Research can use data to provide insights into the potential results of programme or resource allocation decisions. We demonstrate this concept by focusing on the three biggest causes of childhood mortality in Africa, pneumonia, diarrheal disease and malaria. We have created a web-based visualisation using appropriate data sources that would allow relevant bodies, such as the government, to visualise the disease burden and the potential impact of available and relevant interventions, both spatially and temporally. Here we see a 3D visualisation of Kenya, which we can augment with data such as points of interest. In this case, the location of healthcare facilities and pharmacies are shown. We simulate disease incidence data for various scenarios using mathematical models implemented in the Spatiotemporal Epidemiological Modeler, more widely known as STEM which is an open source tool developed by IBM Research Almaden. When the malaria disease model is selected, we can see yellow bars representing the human population in each sub-county region. Playing the disease simulation shows blue bars representing the estimated mosquito population size, derived using dynamic models which consider the effects of elevation, vegetation, temperature and rainfall. The level of red shading within each sub-county region represents the estimated incidence of disease. We can clearly see how the disease burden changes through space and time. Now let's look at a particular region of interest. Information about each region is shown in the pop-up dialogue when that region is selected. The graph shows temporal changes in disease burden and the mosquito population. On the left side is a representation of the chain of causation, or the steps of transmission of disease. We now want to visualise how applying an intervention affects the chain of causation, or more specifically, the disease model. If we choose to distribute bed nets, which prevent mosquito bites and thus the entry of the malarial parasites into the human host, the disease incidence is lowered. If we spray insecticide, we see a reduction in the number of mosquitoes and in turn a further reduction in disease incidence. 
By having the flexibility to see how different interventions affect a given population, the tool allows decision makers to identify which are the most effective and the likely best use of resources. To conclude, the Cognitive Healthcare Hub is a framework for collecting, analysing and presenting data in new ways to address the grand challenges of healthcare and health systems. This presentation demonstrated a single user scenario where visualisation of data models was used to show predicted outcomes of disease intervention strategies. As Africa continues to build infrastructures that allow the collection of more data, we will be able to increase our understanding of disease and the ways in which it is best treated and prevented.